So how was your summer? <laughs> summer was great. <laughs> nice trips. First art gallery. A bunch of good things. <laughs> From the hockey side of things, just from your perspective, what did happen this summer? Not a whole lot, a lot of words. Um, I don't know, I had good communication with the organization throughout. Um, don't really have much else to comment on. There's a lot of things that were said and snowballed, and I don't know. You're going to have to figure out where they came from. If you find out, let me know. Um, yeah, I'm excited to be here. Happy to be back in the, in the room with this group and, and this coaching staff. I think. Um, Got a great opportunity ahead of us this year. Does that hurt? Any of that hurt your feelings at all, Jacob? When you see your name thrown around like that? No, not even a little bit. <laughs> not even a little bit. No, could care less. How do you feel about just coming in mentally, physically? Uh, good, excited. I think um, obviously a shorter summer with the uh, with the longer postseason run. Um, but body feels good. I think uh, everything's back to, to level, which is nice. Um, get back to feeling good going this. What? Was there anything that took you by surprise with all the stuff that was floating around? Uh, I would say the amount that people just run with random things. Um, I don't know. I'd love to find someone to verify a source. That would be nice. But uh, that's not the, the standard, I guess, in media. So we'll leave it at that. We, you know, obviously we're not going to ask you every detail, but I mean, did you have to have conversations with Matt and and smooth things over, or um, and things like that? No, there's no many defenses. I don't think there's any, like, Animosity throughout the whole thing. Um, I mean, per my contract, I had a list on, on June 30th. I knew that was coming. I think that's pretty standard part part of uh, contracts when you know, no trade, whatever list is has to be submitted. There's a date that has to be done by. It's just standard contract business. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's nothing really more than that. I think good communication throughout. Yeah, pretty pretty standard of how I thought the summer would go. Even though there was business, was it important for you to stay here? Um, I mean, I want to stay here. I want to be here. I, I love living here. I love New York. Um, my family loves it here, as everybody is now aware of. Um, so yeah, I think as a whole, it's, it's where I want to be. I'm happy to be here and excited to be, be back uh, for the start of the season. When you submitted the list, you submitted it on June 30th? Was that, that was there. Yep. Was June, when you submitted it, did you have a sense of, all right, I'm still going to be here even after submitting this? Were you nervous about that? Or was it a sense of just like, this is the uh, business part of it and we'll see what happens? Yeah, here. it's part of the part of the business of hockey. I've been fortunate enough to play in two great organizations so far in my career. Um, obviously had the no move that turned into to the partial no trade. That's life, contract, hockey, business, whatever you want to call it. I knew that was coming that summer. It's not by surprise. It was obviously something that was negotiated at the time. Uh, it's part of Pro sports. Um, I mean, everybody. I can get traded now. I know that. I knew that when I signed the contract. At this moment, I could get traded. Um, so it's no surprise or difference in how I act or approach things. It's a lot of people in the NHL can get traded at any time, and that's part of the business. How do you view this this team coming off of you know the playoff last year and, and what you have now, still in this locker room? Yeah, good. I mean, a lot of the, obviously the same group. I have a really big piece in Riley. Um, but I mean, we feel we feel we're right there and. There's got to be another little extra edge this, this season that just wasn't enough last year. We're close. We feel good about our game and how, how we play. Um, but there's, there's another little hump we got to go over. When you watch this, the, the cup finals, were you rooting for Florida or against Florida? <laughs> I don't really root for anybody, I would say, at that point. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> you just watch to watch as, as a hockey player, I guess. You don't really root for either side. You had to go through all that. When did your excitement about coming back here for camp? Um, I mean, pretty, pretty soon after. I think everybody's kind of excited to get back after that season. It hurts for a while. I think the longer you you go, the deeper you go, the more more it stings. Um, so I would say, outside of all the noise of the summer, there's the internal part of the group here and the season we had, and turning the page and wanting to prepare for the next season and, and get ready. And I think that turned over pretty quick as excitement to come back and be back on the ice. And how do you feel physically coming back? Good, actually, really good. Did the ankle thing, did that affect training at all over the summer, or were uh, you have a pretty nope, normal? Pretty yeah. good, pretty normal. Um, yeah, feels good. Does some of, some of the noise and whatever, does that does that add a little bit of a chip, a little extra motivation for the season? Uh, no, not really for me. I think I know, I know where I'm at and where I want to go, I guess, personally. And then as a group and, and what we have in here, I think we have uh, the goals that, that we've set out for, and you know, it's time to execute to get to them. Sorry. And the chance that you guys have with a lot of the same players back, like how meaningful is that for you guys to get another crack at it now? 
Um, yeah, I mean, as players, that's that's what you want. Um, you don't always get that, I think, in pro sports in general. Um, so I think that's an opportunity that, that we have in front of us that uh, in all likelihood will probably be the last crack for this core. I don't think that's a, a secret by any means. Um, so I mean, we're a group that's kind of grown together, spent some years together here, and, and we have something we want to accomplish. What do you think about you know adding you know Zach to the, to the table there and, and, and the core that you still have? Yeah, good. I mean, he's been around for, for a while now, um, last couple of years, and we has had his opportunity to play. I thought he's played really well. Um, so he's looked great skating. He's been back for a little while now, skating uh, towards the end of the summer. So it's good to see him see him back and looking good and excited to see what, what opportunity he runs with this year. Um, obviously, it's a long summer for me and uh, the opportunity to be able to join a team like this after the the success they had last year. Um, it's exciting for me and uh, you know, there's a uh, a lot of buzz, I think, in this locker room and probably in the city because of what they did last year. You're a guy who knows you know, what it takes. How do you look at your your, your role here with this team? Um, you know, I think my role is contingent on how I play, and uh, it can be ever expanding with uh, with what I can bring to the table. So, um, you know, today's day one, and you, you try to put um, your best product on the ice and uh, try to mesh with guys as quickly as possible. There's, there's a lot of new people, and we're trying to add a lot of structure in day one. So. Um, you do what you can, uh, but I, I think it was a step forward today. What do you think of your uh, potential line mates? Who, Meek and Kreitz? Yeah. Uh, they're two unbelievable players. I think, uh, you know, their body of work over the career speaks for itself. And um, anyone in this locker room is, uh, you know, a joy to be able to play with them. So uh, whether it's those two guys or anyone else, um, I'm going to try to do my best to compliment their game. What was your perception of the team coming in this having played against? It's exciting. Um, you know, I think uh, I played against a lot of different New York Ranger teams, and uh, there's, there's a couple that are still here. And obviously, you know, Krides and Mika uh, are two mainstays. So uh, I've watched their game a lot, and uh, I think watching them in the playoffs it was, it was fun for me last year. Uh, you know, I wasn't expecting to, to be on this roster, but it's, uh, it's a good thing for me in my career. And, uh, I'm happy I did because you'd see a lot of tendencies in the game and what they're good at. So I think uh, that can benefit my game as well.